How to make fire from dumpster farts, because the apocalypse won't wait for you to Google it. Picture this, you're stranded in the wasteland. Gas stations are drier than your grandma's fruitcake, <laughs> propane tanks are long gone, and you're left staring at a pile of rotten leftovers and manure. Don't panic, that's fuel, baby. Today we're making methane gas, the same stuff cow guts use to power the world's most powerful weapon, farts. Step 1. The container. First, you need a big airtight barrel, bucket, or tank. Plastic or metal? Just make sure no air can sneak in once it's sealed. Oxygen kills the special bacteria that make methane. This is a no-oxygen zone. Think of it like the bacteria's man cave, dark, smelly, and nobody else allowed in. Step 2. Feed the beast. Now toss in organic waste. That means food scraps, grass clippings, old bread, or if you're bold, manure. Yep, poop is basically jet fuel in this setup. Add water until it's a nice swampy soup. Stir it like a witch making dumpster stew. Step 3. Keep it toasty. No, Bacteria no don't work when they're cold. Keep your barrel warm, around 85 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit is ideal. If it's winter, wrap it in insulation or use the old leave it in the sun and pray technique. Step 4. Let nature work, seal the barrel airtight. Over the next couple of weeks, the bacteria break down your goo. They fart out methane gas, which rises to the top. This is the good stuff. The smell will make your neighbors question their life choices, but that's how you know it's working. Step 5. Capture the gas. Here's the fun part. Fit a hose or pipe to the barrel lid and run it into another sealed container, balloon, or even an inner tube. That's your gas storage. Congratulations, you're officially bottling dumpster farts. Step 6. Light it up, safely. Once you've collected enough, you can burn it. Stick the hose near a stove, lantern, or burner, and whoosh! Instant apocalypse cooking gas. Just don't go lighting it right next to the barrel, unless you want your survival story to end up on the Darwin Awards.